I'm Jess and welcome to church. Do you know what is next week? Yep, it's Easter. I am so excited and we have a great story to tell you and it has one of these in it. Do you know what this is? Yep, it's a palm leaf. Shall we check out the story now? Okay, let's go. So this week, guys, you're going to see that as I tell the story, that the picture is going to unfold before you. We hope you enjoy this. So the Palm Sunday story is set the Sunday before Jesus rose from the dead. So it was an amazingly important week for Jesus. And he had been all over the place, all over the country, teaching and preaching and doing miracles, healing people. And whole crowds had gone with him. And then there came a point where he started to head towards Jerusalem. And we'll find out later what was important about Jerusalem. When he got a little bit nearer to Jerusalem, he got to a little town called Bethany. I think we might have a Bethany or two in our kids' church. But this was a town. And by the town was a mountain. Can you see the mountain in the picture behind Jesus there? This was called the Mount of Olives. And so Jesus chose two of his disciples. Now we're not told which two. And look at his finger. It's pointing. He said this. Go to the village across from you. As soon as you enter, you'll find a young donkey tied up, a donkey that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone asks, what are you doing and why are you taking the donkey? Say, the master needs it. Now I'm sure the disciples were a little bit confused. Why did Jesus need a donkey? A donkey? What would you do with a donkey? What a funny thing to ask. But they went and did just what Jesus had said. So they left and we're not told how long they walked for. There they are, walking along the road. And then they found the young donkey. Oh. Oh yes, I can hear that donkey. Can you hear the donkey? Me too. So they found the donkey just like Jesus had said. Now I'm sure they might have been a little bit nervous. I'm sure they were confused. But Jesus had been very clear to them. Jesus had said to them to start untying it. But as they did, the owner, can you see how confused he is? Well, the owner said, What are you doing untying that donkey? And they said, His master needs him. So, amazingly, the owner let them take the donkey just the way that Jesus had said it would be. And this set the scene for the most incredible entry into Jerusalem. So now Jesus has a donkey and the disciples, as they brought the donkey to him, threw their coats on the back of the donkey. Why did they put their coats on the back of a donkey? Well, nowadays, if you were going to ride a horse, I don't know how many people ride donkeys, 
You would put, do you know, do any of you ride horses? That's right, you would put a saddle on its back to ride it. Maybe they didn't have a saddle for this donkey. And I don't know whether you know this, but donkeys are known for not always doing what they're asked to do. They can be a little bit stubborn and a little bit tricky. So these disciples, they put their coats on the back of the donkey to make it more comfortable for Jesus. And then they helped Jesus get on. Now, donkeys don't always want to be ridden. And so it might have been quite interesting. Do you think they had to lift Jesus up to help him get on? Maybe someone had a handy step stool and he could go up. Uh, on that and get on the donkey. That could have been quite fun. But this was an exciting time. The disciples were super excited because they thought that with Jesus coming into Jerusalem, that he was going to set everybody free. Now, you and I know that Jesus did come to set us free. But he didn't come the way they thought. They thought that Jesus was going to get rid of the army that made their day-to-day -day life awful. They thought that he was going to arrive at the temple and he was going to take over the temple. They thought all these things. But they didn't actually know what God had said about his plan. Jesus then rides into Jerusalem. And Jerusalem was a really big city. And in that city was the temple, was the place that God had had King Solomon build so that they could worship God. So it was a, an incredible place and an important place. But something had gone wrong along the way. And we'll find out in a little bit what. Jesus was coming to set them free, but not in the way that he thought they were going to. So as Jesus rode in, the crowds that had been following him all the time when he was preaching and teaching and doing miracles, they start cutting off these palm leaves off the trees. Now, you know how tall a palm tree can be. I'm sure some of them had to climb up the tree and chop off branches and chuck them down to their friends so that everyone had a branch. Some had branches and others, they took their coats off like the disciples had and they made this huge, huge carpet for Jesus to ride on. Now, have you ever seen some of the pictures from Hollywood where these amazing movie stars walk in down the red carpet? And they're looking very glamorous and very amazing. And there's this beautiful carpet and all the people taking photos. Well, obviously, cameras hadn't been invented in these days. But these guys made the best red carpet in the whole wide world. But it wouldn't have been red. It would have been green and yellow and pink and blue. All these different colors scattered right the way across the path where Jesus rode the donkey. What a grand welcome was that. And the crowd were excited and there was this babble. Can you hear them? They started chatting away. Then they chatted a bit more. I can see him. Here he comes. He's coming. What do you think he's going to do? I don't know. But I keep saying he's come to set us free. They would have been so excited by all of that. And as Jesus rode past them, I bet they were craning their necks to look and see more. Suddenly, as they get to the top of the hill where the Mountain of Olives starts to go down, the whole crowd, the disciples, the crowds who've been following him, they can't hold it back anymore. 
and it has built and built and built to this point and they start singing they start singing about all the amazing things that they have seen Jesus do and this is what the Bible said that they sang who oh, blessed is he who comes the king in God's name all wells in heaven glory in the highest place yeah, yeah, he says how amazing would that sound have been how exciting to have been in the crowd full of expectation totally looking towards what Jesus is about to do in Jerusalem for Jesus it must have been a hard ride perhaps he must have been excited by the cheers and the singing of the crowd but he knew that this ride into Jerusalem would be his last he knew that God had called him to come and die for me and you Now Michelle is drawing something a little different. This guy looks different to all the others. Can you see his face? He's a grumpy thing, isn't he? And there were a number of Pharisees in the crowd. And those were the guys who were living in the temple. They spent all their time in the temple. But they had got stuck on the rules and they had lost what God's heart was all about. God loves us. God loved that crowd. God loved the Pharisees, but they couldn't see it. And they were grumpy. And they told Jesus, Teacher, get your disciples under control. They're being too noisy and messy. I can almost imagine Jesus having a little giggle as if to say, really? Is that what you're going to get grumpy about? Can you not see what God is doing? Have you not heard that there is a God who loves you? You guys spend all your time in the temple and yet you've not understood God's heart towards you at all. How sad when we miss God's heart for us. And so Jesus responded to them. If they kept quiet, even the stones along the road would sing and shout, shouting praise. I hope you've enjoyed the story today. And we want to say the biggest thank you to Michelle, who has been an artist for today. I tell you, if I'd been drawing it, it would not have looked like that. How amazing when we bring our gifts to God that He enables us to use them in incredible ways. So we hope you loved it.